This morning, Trump held a press conference to brag about a 13% unemployment rate, which is still lower than the Great Recession, and then he got into an argument with reporters, even shushing them when they dared to ask questions about his numbers during his propaganda celebration. I'd like to sign this bill. This is a very different thing. And by the way, what's happened to our country and what you now see it has been happening is the greatest thing that can happen for race relations, for the African-American community, for the Asian-American, for the Hispanic-American community, for women, for everything. What's your plan? Because our country is so strong. And that's what my plan is. Just to follow up, how would a better economy have protected mind, George Floyd? Sir? Sure, I'll ask after. Will you take questions after, sir? Black unemployment went up by one by 0.1 percent. Asian American unemployment went up by 0.5 percent. Uh, how is that a victory? You are something. How is that a victory? Uh, thank you very much. Just an awesome look that as he threatens the First Amendment openly and the right to protest, saying that because a select few of the protesters were looting that he was going to send in the U.S. military, which is illegal and unconstitutional in every way, uh, to stop these protests, basically. Because, yeah, you know, the military would just they'd only go after the looters and the people who are breaking the law. They definitely wouldn't use it as an excuse to uh, shut down the protests entirely. I I'm on a tangent there. It's obvious he doesn't care about the First Am Amendment at all. Not that Obama treated whistleblowers with any respect whatsoever, uh, but Trump's really reached a new level in these past few weeks. And so seeing how he treats these reporters, specifically female reporters repeatedly, and even worse for female reporters of color, um, you just kind of see it in a different light because of everything that's going on. And that was enormously entitled, disrespectful, and embarrassing. Trump had this celebration today where he was spinning these job numbers as if it was something good that we're down to 13-ish percent according to fudged figures. Looking at the underlying data, it's a lot worse than what he's portraying, obviously. The top line number from the report is that a total of 2.5 million jobs were added in May and the unemployment rate declined from 14.7% to 13.3%, though the Bureau of Labor Statistics noted that it, if it had included people who were not working but still listed as employed, the overall unemployment rate would have been about three percentage points higher than reported aka furloughed people or people who were uh, not reporting that they were unemployed. The numbers appear to demonstrate that as lockdowns have begun to unwind and people who were temporarily laid off are returning to work. So for instance, the leisure and hospitality industry lost 8.2 million jobs in March and April, but gained back 1.2 million in May. In other sectors, however, job losses continued. A substantial portion of the growth in May, about two-fifths, was driven by part-time jobs, an indication of how fragile and uneven the recovery could be. And then this is what was discussed and asked about that he refused to answer. Black Americans saw their unemployment rate already higher than white people increase, whereas the unemployment rate for white people went down from 14.2% to 12.4%. The unemployment rate for blacks ticked up from 167 to 16.8%. Asian Americans saw their unemployment rate rise too, from 14.5 to 15%. Hispanic unemployment dropped from 18.9 to 17.6%. But those numbers are quite inconvenient for Trump in the middle of one of the broadest discussions about race that the United States has had in decades. Decades and mass protests. Oh, it's very inconvenient for him that black people's uh, unemployment rate actually increased because he needed to do this grand celebration to deflect. In the same press conference, he said that George Floyd was looking down from heaven and was happy about the, the job numbers. Shameless, narcissistic, vile, everything that you can say. Um, but again, that, that, that really is just what strikes me is his complete vitriolic hatred, uh, antipathy, Towards, towards reporters, you really see it as even more menacing than before, given his threats um, of military deployment against protesters. The First Amendment is something he wipes his 
disgusting ass with. He doesn't care. Uh, these st strict constructionist, constitutionalist conservatives care about the Second Amendment and nothing else. And Trump makes that clear every single day with his self-marketing presidency and his complete incompetence and lack of appreciation for any of the values that we're supposed to care about as Americans.